What makes cutting weight such a big deal in wrestling? In wrestling, Charles, you want to wrestle at your most ideal weight. The misconception is that guys want to shrink down to a weight which makes competing easier, and that's not really true. What you want to do, though, is you want to compete at your most efficient and effective weight. And so when we talk about cutting weight, what we're really talking about is getting a kid or a wrestler to their ideal wrestling competing weight. And so if I have, if I can lose some body fat, I'm at a better weight. What I don't want to do is lose muscle or lean body mass. Is there ever a situation where you need to like gain weight to make a weight class or put on muscle instead of like not cutting muscle but cutting fat? Yes, it happens all the time, and, and actually that probably happens as much in our program um, as a kid cutting down to a weight class. For instance, this year we don't have a lot of big bodies in the room, so we have several kids that are wrestling up a weight to fill, fill out our lineup. Um, as a smaller school, that happens all the time. So where we, what we like to do is to figure out for a team how are we most competitive? Where kids fit in a certain lineup? And a good example this year is we have a freshman, Dean Omerly, who's wrestling up a weight and even sometimes two weight classes to um, fill out our lineup. Is like what's the difference between the right or right way and the wrong way to cut weight? Well, definitely, definitely the wrong way to cut weight is to not eat. We want our guys eating. Um, we don't want them to lose any lean body mass. We work very hard in the off season to gain muscle. And we don't work that hard to gain muscle then to come into wrestling and lose muscle. What we wanna do though, is eat the right way, eat the right things. Um, you wanna, again, lose body fat so that your, your body's most efficient. Um, but you know, the wrong way definitely is just not eating. Okay, one more question. 